What's up YouTube, what's up world, Morgan Con here with another video for you guys. Um, Eminem dropped a diss track on Trump and it's, it's immature, it's childish, and he knows nothing of politics, never being in pol politics himself. Um, I grew up in hip hop, Snoop Dogg, the Dr. Dre's, you know, the Jay-Z, the Pimp C, the UGK. Um, like listening to a lot of rap and hip hop, just it's a part of the culture for early 2000s, mid 90s. By the 90s, hip hop was out of control, and the the culture, the LL Cool J, the the Jays, the Jordans, the Nike Airs, um, all of this has led up to these moments. You know, we put a white guy in a lot of power. Eminem has a lot of power him busting his ass for what he wanted in the hip hop industry but to me it's it's just he thinks that just because he can make a rap song he's going to be like hailed as like one of the greatest like ever now and honestly it just makes me like him like not anymore a whole lot I mean yeah big whoop to do it's not going to hurt his pocket or his financial you know uh, stability here but <clears throat> It's just not something that I'd be like, hey, you know, go check out his new track, the Trump diss track, you know, as somebody that's aspiring to serve this country and somebody that is working hard on that right now. Um, I just find it it's childish because he doesn't know what it is to lead a country, how it is, or anything pertaining to how the, the country is right now, like, seriously, um, he doesn't know Trump, I mean, has he sat down and had a steak dinner with him, probably not, has he, you know, just had a beer and talked about, you know, money, or just, you know, how's Wall Street doing, or just anything, just, he's a human being, Trump is a human being, and Eminem is a human being too, but it's just to the point where it's, it's ridiculous, it's overkill, You've had the media bash him for over a year now, um, with the presidential elections and everything that's being said, excuse me, everything that's been said and done, um, it just doesn't make any sense, it's a late, it's a late reaction, just like, uh, all these celebrities conveniently like Eminem now, because he makes, uh, a rap tune to Trump, you know, and it's stupid, he used to talk about some pretty bad stuff, you know, hurting people, being homophobic, and saying a lot of other things in his music, and taking pills, and all kinds of stuff that's bad for people. But you know, you have songs like Toy Soldiers, and Rap God, and Why America, and Without Me, and all the songs that are really pretty good, and to me, a lot of people claim he's the best in the industry, nah, he's not even the best in the industry, he's the best conscious rapper in the industry is Wu-Tang Clan and Public Enemy and NWA when they first started out, like seriously, Run DMC, I mean, those, those dudes had it like writing lyrical understanding moving hip hop uh, for the culture like it was a different way of life and people people don't respect like the country anymore everybody's like Colin Kaepernick he's a hero and he's never served our country he don't know what goes into protecting ourselves this country is not about white supremacy I'm mixed, I got friends that are mixed, I got friends that are Hispanic, and some of my best friends are not purely white, and some of them are white, but dude, it, the color shouldn't matter, because really though, like if we were all filleted, we're all red underneath, we all bleed red, man, like this sounds like a hippie, oh, we're all just kumbaya, no, like this is... America where everybody should be treated equally and people need to stop 
pointing fingers and getting all weird and and trying to label everything to whereas people start getting on the fence or throwing a wrench in their works and trying to be racist and insinuating racism it's terrible it's bad for business and the black illuminati the black subculture for hip-hop and all this stuff it's terrible like the young thug and the a lot of innuendo innuendos of being gay and how Lil Wayne was treated badly and the the things that people have said on the internet you know I don't like to quote things in detail because I got better things to do but it's just the fact you see it as like an up and down up and down with hip hop but you can't do the same thing with classical music or rock and roll rock and roll said it's ups and downs but it's, it's dude, it goes up rock and roll man you can jam that Dust sold on. You got your blues and jazz, and a lot of uh, rock and roll is based off of blues, and a lot of African American or you know colored people from early, early American days of you know the 19th century and you know now the 21st century here. You know early 1900s, late 1800s. You get a lot of people in the blues. And starting, starting what we know as rock and roll. So, I mean, you can't just make the assumption that so many people are about racism. Like, the racism, pulling that card just makes everyone on edge. It's really edgy and cringy. It's terrible. But... I just, I'm disappointed in Eminem, you know, my reaction to it is that he could have done better, he could have been a man about it, and, you know, just made a public statement, you know, like, I disagree, I disagree with what you're saying, or agree with what you're saying, depending on his stance, you know, obviously the whole world knows now, but it shouldn't... Like, it's all over CNN and Fox News and all these people. Like, I'm on YouTube and, you know, uh, Serhat, S-E-R-H-A-T, Donald Trump's reaction to Eminem's new kickoff at BET Hip Hop Awards. And that, that's just one video that I'm looking at, just seeing what's going on. And it's terrible. People haven't even given him a chance. He's not even president for a full year. And people are talking this much trash. I think America needs to grow up or grow a pair in those areas. You know, I don't consider colored people a minority because the American race is a minority. We've only been around for 200 something years. I think it's like 240 one years now like seriously it's retarded like people don't realize this country's young okay the country is young and on the other side of the world you got Africa the European front and Asia and the Asia miners and the Polynesian islands and the other side of the world, they're thousands of years old. They got thousands of years of pyramids. Um, Mesoamerica is a lot older than uh, North America and the history here. People forget to acknowledge the history that has went on in this country and the amount of people from all races, creeds, and colors that have worked their ass off to support Trump. Trump wants American companies to come back and to, to rebuild this nation, the crumbling nation from what liberal Democrats have been doing to this nation, just taxing good companies out of existence and bailing the wrong ones out. If you can't handle your business, that's your problem. But this is the fact that we have too many sellouts. For instance, everything in Walmart is basically made in China. If it isn't food that can get here within like a couple of days or something like it's it's china it's just stupid 
Halloween costumes, tools, uh, not name brand tools or. I can't even know what it is. Most of the toys for children are made in China. Electronics are made in China. Um, there's all kinds of just crap. It's terrible. Man. It's terrible. Man, most, mostly, everything is just sold, sell out. And you can see the American companies really working their ass off either for you know to to make America better. Like it's not that we weren't great. But we can be awesome at gain as a nation. People who used to look up to us, to our tenacity, to our drive, and the way we wanted things in the world, and not be the the world police. We don't have to be the world police, but you know, we should look out for the world and be like, hey, you know, we learned a lot, y'all know a lot, we work together, we help them out. It's late for me. I should be passed out. But I'm on YouTube trying to watch nice videos of jujitsu training or entertainment, and I just don't find the Eminem stuff so entertaining anymore. Eminem lost me as a fan when he did that. Like I could care less. Like none of his music matters. Doesn't matter. Um, he uh. It's childish, man. It's just childish. But it's it's a sad, sad a state of affairs here in the nation right now because he could be doing a lot better. Trump could be doing a lot better. We know. But the fact that so many people have ruined it for us. I mean, it's just like if you go into any institution that has discipline and rules and camaraderie and teamwork if one person messes it up for the team the whole team has to get punished and that's unfortunately what we're going through right now we've had countless people on the borders bringing in illegals and ruining our immigration and ruining the way americans enjoy this country our neighborhoods are getting overflown our schools are getting overflown with illegals from all sorts of types of people from around the world. It's not just Hispanics from south of the border of America and because we're building a wall. Uh, good good fences make good neighbors for a reason because then you get to actually, you know, work with your neighbor when they know that they can't just freely pick what they think is theirs or anything for that matter. It's security. It's defense. If we don't have walls, people are just going to walk in here and start messing stuff up. Like, there's ISIS everywhere in the world, and it's terrible. So, we have to be careful with what's going on. And then people like Eminem making it sound, like, hip and cool that, you know, talking down about our, you know, president here our commander in chief it's it's dumb it's just dumb man like I'm 22 and I would never be that stupid just be like yeah I'm gonna make a rap this song about the president to me he's well off enough to where he should have done something better and really though it's not that well thought out. His other ciphers were way better. And it's just, it's a joke. He's hes too old to even be rapping anymore. And it took him years to even present himself with what is, seems like a beard, I guess. But it just is, is odd to me. It's strange. I feel like somebody paid him just like this Vegas shooting. It's like paid entertainment for the elite. They're just trying to see when America's going to crumble, and if we ever are in that area, but I don't agree with it, but it doesn't mean that everyone else is going to agree with me, I don't care, I'm just saying, from my perspective, he could have done better, he should have done better, and people don't realize the implications that has. It's Now 
they're gonna hear that on YouTube, and they're gonna be like, what the crap is this, like, political stuff, like, how do they listen to it? Because I like politics, and it just doesn't make any sense to me. He's giving him ooh, big work to do. Has he done anything for the world? Has he been out there and like, saved lives? hard day, sweated, and really busted his ass for something he wanted, like, I'd love to know that, because it just doesn't sound, it just doesn't sound right, the rap sucked, he sucks now, and America needs to chill out, like, for real, just needs to sit down and think about so, if America had a mall, which would be England, I guess, you know, God save the Queen or whatever, right? Like, those people would just not in that sense that England should tell us what to do, but it's just if America had a physical mall, it'd be like, go to the corner, think about what you've done, or I'm going to whip you. And. America doesn't have nobody telling them that, like, hey, I'm going to whip you or anything. It's it's just dumb to me because nobody cares. Nobody cares anymore. People keep thinking it's the end of the world every other day. And they have no idea what can happen and what could happen. There are scientific probabilities of asteroids, black holes, galactic collisions, super volcanoes, natural disasters that actually could destroy the world and nobody could do anything about it. And people are worried about nukes and politics. That The nukes would probably throw the world into a, a nuclear radiation and fall out for 80 years, maybe 200 50 years natural disaster like a super volcano or a solar flare or a comet asteroid large enough would smoke this planet so fast people would have no idea or could even do anything governments couldn't even hide from it it would shatter shatter the tectonic plates of the world i just think most of the people that just live their life day by day by day and don't really think about nothing or science or the probabilities that go into the nitty gritties of what's really going on. They're they're dumb for believing anything that CNN is spilling out. They're dumb for believing Eminem. They're they're dumb. Snoop Dogg is a sellout now. You know he's like props to Eminem. You a real nigga, uh, bruh, no. This is not happening. Snoop has went off on some tangent, like, tirade about Trump and talking smack and all these other rappers and Kaepernick and P. Diddy and J. Cole. Man, J. Cole, I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. I like the hip-hop culture, but the more and more I dig on the internet, it's just like the Hollywood pedophilia. Shit's gonna hit the fan. Y'all are going to get exposed for your shysty, no good, bullcrap. And American people are not going to take it very lightly. Because hip-hop, like, that's that's a livelihood that you don't want to ruin for others that are really trying to make something of themselves. And also for the people that enjoy, that enjoy the music... Not just for the uh, the vulgar la vulgar language, but because it has a good sound and people are speaking about things that matter. But it just ain't like that no more, man. It just ain't like that no more. This is terrible. It's terrible. I just wish that America could do better, but I guess we'll just have to find out, right? Um. I don't normally make videos like this. I don't even have a large follower count. 
but it doesn't matter. It's just for posterity, you know, for those that are like, oh, hey, you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, check it out, dude. Whatever. <laughs> Freaking. I'm Morgan Khan. This has been a Morgan Khan production. And as always, subscribe if you're new. And if you're not new and you're one of the OG followers, I appreciate y'all. Y'all support. I don't get a lot of comments on my videos. That's fine and dandy. Doesn't matter, dude. You know, just drop a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, until next time, I will see you in the next one.